Situated 70 kilometers southeast of Bangkok lies the Thai province of Chonburi. Thailand is divided into 76 provinces, and this coastal area of the kingdom is home to over a million people and countless numbers of wild monkeys. The majority of Chonburi's inhabitants make their living from either fishing, rice farming or tourism. The beaches of the province are among some of the most well-known and popular in the whole of Thailand. It was October 2005 when we made the journey here to find out more about an annual event for which Chonburi is famous throughout the land. <laughs> Back in 2005, the Chonburi water buffalo races were in their 134th year. Uchit Tamsawat was the mayor of Chonburi. We all look forward to this day. You can expect to see thousands of people here today enjoying the day's racing. It's a very traditional event and it's important for us to maintain our culture and traditions. Everyone here is helping to preserve those traditions. People from all over Chonburi and the surrounding provinces arrived early with their bovine thoroughbreds. The first buffalo race was held here in the 1870s. Back then, Chonburi was the trading capital of Thailand's eastern seaboard. At the end of Buddhist Lent and the rice harvest, farmers headed to Chonburi in carts pulled by their buffalo to trade their goods. There was always a fierce rivalry between the farmers as to who had the best buffalo. One day, a couple of farmers decided to untether their animals and race them. Buffalo racing quickly became an annual social fixture for the farmers, and from the outset, the racers have drawn huge crowds, curious to see the unusual spectacle. Almost all of those who brought their buffalo to the 2005 competition were farmers. Local man Sumit Puamkun had enjoyed considerable success at the event. His buffalo had won the prestigious heavyweight category on three occasions. For us farmers around here, this is our main sport. We don't really have anything else. We sometimes stage buffalo races back on our farms. In our country, buffaloes used to play a key role in agriculture, but nowadays machines have by and large taken over. Most of us keep buffalo just to race them. There were three categories in which the buffalo competed. Lightweight, middleweight and heavyweight. The heavyweights can weigh in excess of one ton and can reach a speed of 30 miles an hour. On this occasion, over 100 buffalo were put through a series of heats to separate the prime bovine sprinters from the lumbering beasts of burden. The start of each race took a considerable amount of time and there were many false starts. The distance covered remains 110 meters, usually in around 11 seconds. Such is the skill required to ride these beasts that only around 15 jockeys take part in the event. 36-year-old Niwat Semkam was taking part in the Chonburi races for the 18th year. He practiced riding buffalo at a nearby farm once every four days. Sometimes there are stones on the track. This can be a big danger. All us jockeys have taken heavy falls, but nothing serious has ever happened to me. It's just like racing cars. Sometimes you get hurt, sometimes you don't. With the temperature at that year's event rising to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, it was important that the water buffalo were kept as cool as possible. Along with buffalo racing, Thai culture was celebrated during the day through a variety of other traditional Thai sports. Muay Thai bouts were held with competitors as young as eight taking to the ring. As with the buffalo racing, there was a lot of money bet on the outcome of the contests. 
Spectators at the festival could also watch Takra Lot Huang, a game where players attempt to get a rattan ball in one of the three baskets suspended above them without using their hands. But the main event of the day was the Buffalo Racing Finals, which took place in the afternoon. In the lightweight category, Dam Yansri charged to victory despite having injured his ankle earlier in the day. The six Buffalo contesting the heavyweight final took a long time to settle at the start line. There were five false starts, resulting in a delay of 15 minutes before racing finally got underway. In a close contest, Dam Yansri once again emerged triumphant aboard his ride Sri. He secured the first prize of an electric fan and 5,000 baht. I've won this race twice before, so to win it for a third time is very special. My buffalo performed well, and as a reward, I'm going to feed it lots of grass. The Chonburi water buffalo races continue to preserve an important part of Thailand's cultural heritage. And it was certainly clear from the 134th edition of the event that this tradition would continue for many more years to come. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel for the very best of Transworld Sports.